I woke up around 1 a.m. a week ago, groggy and disoriented, to prepare for my usual night shift. I noticed that my cat, Brunch, who typically sleeps at the foot of my bed, had left in the middle of the night. This wasn't unusual, but the door to my room was closed, with no other way out. Puzzled, I quickly searched the room, but after being unable to find him, I figured my older sister had whisked the poor cat away to her room. No big deal, I thought. I finished preparing and was ready to head out, but just as I reached for the doorknob, I heard a soft hiss coming from my room. I marched back in, now convinced Branch was just hiding somewhere out of sight. Peering under the bed, I discovered Branch, huddled at the far end of the bed behind an assortment of shoeboxes. His fur was stood on end. I had never seen him behave like this before. After calling out to him for a few minutes, trying to gently coax him out to no avail, I worried that something was terribly wrong with Branch. I made an awkward attempt to crawl under the bed and try pulling him out. While I was not particularly fond of cats, Branch had always been a quiet and gentle companion to me since my childhood. He had never scratched me, or anyone else for that matter. Yet for the first time, as I reached out to him, he let out a deep guttural hiss and slashed my arm leaving a deep gash. Shocked, I retreated from under the bed. I was bleeding a lot more than I would have expected. With a mix of frustration from the sudden violence, and panic at the sight of blood all over my arm and clothes, I realized I probably wasn't going to make it to work on time. I hurriedly messaged my boss, letting them know I would be late, before attending to my wound, cleaning myself up and getting changed. Branch was still hiding under the bed, and just as I was about to try coaxing him out again, I heard a knock on the front door. What the hell? Who knocks on people's doors at 2 in the morning? I muttered to myself, perplexed and slightly unnerved. I stepped into the hallway, moving cautiously towards the door. Through the frosted window, I could see a somewhat familiar figure standing there, eerily motionless. My heart pounded as I slowly approached. That's when I heard a voice. Hey, it's me. Let me in. The voice in the dead of night sent shivers down my spine. But the most chilling part was the familiarity of the voice itself. It was my voice. The figure on the other side of the door was unmistakably me. Hey, it's me. Let me in. It repeated firmly, now knocking more insistently. Fear set in as I realized that any of my family members would have fallen for this. I was supposed to have left for work by now. Trembling, I began to back away from the door. The figure inched closer, attempting to peer through the frosted window. As it did, I could begin to discern the blurry details on its, on my face. Our eyes locked and for a brief moment, it seemed surprised. But then it smiled. The most sinister, unnerving smile. A smile that I would never make. In that bone-chilling moment, it silently backed away from the door and vanished into the night. Needless to say, I never made it to work that night, or any night since. My family thinks I'm crazy for locking myself away in my room. Telling me it was just some sort of prank. But since that day, every sleepless night I've had listening to my cat hiss from under the bed convinces me otherwise. Hello my little ghost, thank you for listening to tonight's story. Special thanks to Arrowhawk Screech for letting me narrate this amazing little story. And if you guys enjoyed it, do consider subscribing to the channel to join our little graveyard community. Make sure you have all the notifications turned on to be informed whenever I post a new video. And perhaps even leave a like to this video if you enjoyed it that much. Thank you for your support and have a good day.